gonna do a few minutes at a time on this and uh, that's how it's gonna be so this is the white man is a scientist the Negro is a science project by dr. Wesley Muhammad is waging war by zip code how food in black neighborhoods is weaponized they weaponize the food and that just the sounding of that doesn't seem surprising to a lot of people but you'll see you will be surprised by some of the things in here the brother goes into a very detailed we're gonna to try to get through uh, probably do I'm trying to do just uh, like you know 20 minute pieces but I'm just gonna pretty much read a lot of this here and then we'll probably put a little anal analyzation within it but uh, I think all of us should get this and I'm gonna try to put a link in here so that you can get this from Dr. Wesley I think he has it for I mean if it's not free it's pretty pretty low cost probably give him a dollar or ten dollars or something like that but uh, it's a PDF it's a book ebook and he says it's an urgent case for separation which is the only way that we can really get away from this is to do everything ourselves so that's the answer so he's giving you the solution for this whole thing before we even start it uh, it's easy to say but it's hard to do uh, separation is a, a group effort it takes at least you know a million a few million of us to decide that that's the best and not only decide it but we have to kind of work for it so let's get into some of this here so the brother says Elijah Muhammad is vindicated which I agree that most health specialists agree that the loss of health of the black people is directly related to the foods that we consume. That's Brother Minister Farrakhan quote. And uh, all of the of all the crises in the black America ex experiencing none is comparable to our food crisis. That's another quote from Dr. Wesley. And he gives us an expert excerpt from Understanding the Assault on the Black Man, Volume 2. And the pot plot. <laughs> and a lot of people find that uh, controversial how we can feminize us and we know that THC is very similar to a estrogen especially as it goes into the body and you know how that can serve to feminize the physiology of a black man and it also can serve to imbalance the black woman and uh, if you throw off the balance you know nature only has the masculine and the feminization so if women are thrown off in their balance of uh, you know biochemical for example 
estrogen, estradiol, and uh, testosterone, if they're thrown off, then they're just going to become more masculinized. So, that's that. Let's look at some of the titles that he got. He got the scientific genocide through food, food as a chemical warfare, weaponized food, vaccines, and the aid epidemic, uh, the U.S. and South African collaboration, WIC and the mystery of the missing zinc, soy, the enemy, segregation and scientific racism today, the Bay Area illustrative, life and death and white and black, clouds of death, gender neutering by air, the military poisons, the air, toxic blood through poison food, the pot, the plot to target black women through the food they buy, poison catfish, Tuskegee, Tuskegee experiment part two, Monsanto in the military, what's in your salmon, Tuskegee experiment part three, food from gender bending waters, fast food and food oppression, the origin of black America's fast food dependency, how McDonald's is making use a sterile, how Papa John is making us feminine, food in black America's health crisis, black America's autism epidemic, black America's cancer crisis, is our food making us gay, DC as a compelling evidence. So, some of you guys run away from this because you don't want to hear the truth. Scary, because you're going to eat the food anyway, no matter what somebody tells you, but you need to know. Information needs to be out there. Uh, I suggest before we really get into looking at stuff like this and learning about this, I suggest we go to YouTube, get us some uh, YouTube videos uh, just to give us an understanding because uh, one of the things that this white supremacist has done is the epigenetics. We need to look at videos on epigenetics. How conditioning can be passed down through your DNA. And what they do is they can scare you. They can make you feel like you hate math, like you hate science. So that they can poison you and kill you. And when someone's trying to explain to you the danger, you don't even have the capacity to understand the danger. Because you're not, you don't know how to read the language. And the basic language of the universe, uh, as far as mass and material universe, is the periodic table. So those are the letters. That's the alphabet of the universe, the periodic table. So I suggest that get a video on periodic table, elements. Listen to it three times if you're not sure of those, the terminology. Just listen to it like three times. Just get some basic understanding so you can reduce the fear because, you know, sometimes when something intimidates you, for example, math, for example, reading, for example, you know, a lot of black folks, we get intimidated by big words. We just, it, it just makes it, we just go to sleep. We see a big word, see some stuff we don't want to read. It's the, the book is too thick. It don't have pictures in it. We just go to sleep. Knock us right out. But that's, uh, you can reduce some of that tension that you have just by just doing it repetitive. The same thing over and over again, reducing some of that tension. Because that's all it is. It's, a, it's an emotional response mechanism that's being programmed in us to have in a pit of our stomach a, a, a hatred or a, some type of emotional response of anxiety when it comes to testing, when it comes to reading, when it comes to mathematics, when it comes to science. And this is a protection layer that white supremacy has uh, against us being able to compete with them and find out when we're being poisoned and killed. So this is what I suggest uh, some of us do if we are intimidated by some of these subjects. And like I said, we'll break this one down, uh, try to break it down uh, piecemeal so that we don't overwhelm ourselves so also I'll put the link in here Minister Farrakhan he, he goes into it here let's get into it right quick so scientific genocide through food in January 1975 the most honorable Elijah Muhammad revealed in Muhammad Speaks 
a coming plot against black American people by our 400 year old enemies in America and he said at this very hour eternal war eternal war forever you can't get away from it they're not going to ever stop if you win it's just temporary unless you get rid of them they at this very hour eternal war against the black man is planned as the psalmist prophesizes that they plan to destroy the poor secretly uh, and I think that shoot they, actually hold on a second uh, hold on a second hold on a second I think that was like Psalm 20 Psalm 83 or something like that anyway I had that marked but anyway yeah in the psalmist they had uh, they plan to destroy the poor secretly all kinds of evil are planned against the once loyal slave of America today in the drugs and food and the water that the slave eats and drinks to destroy his increase of his nation making his women unproductive and turning her into the most disgraceful woman of the nations our former slave masters and that's what the messenger taught us and I'm gonna highlight that because our former slave masters have secretly planned an eternal war against black man and woman in America a plan that involves doing all kinds of evil to us through the food that we eat the water that we drink drink and the drugs that we use speaking at the Chicago Coliseum on Savior's Day 1966 the Honorable Elijah Muhammad gave us a little insight on how our enemies will execute this secret war against us this race of devils who has planned your destruction who are leading you to a total destruction who want you to die and be destroyed with them because they're dead anyway who are absolutely killing you daily and beating you for even asking them for justice but their time is up and they are doing everything to try to stay uh, to try to uh, excuse me they are in doing they are doing everything to try to stay by planning the to total termination of the black man and they pra they are practicing so that's experimenting they are practicing it on you today the so-called American Negroes I ever heard I even heard talk of their planning was murder of the I even talk of their planning mass murder of the so-called Negroes here in America and plan to sterilize them to prevent them from continuing to produce a people like the children of Israel by killing the males this scientific nation who have so much more knowledge of chemistry today and uh, and plan the total destruction of you and me so we need to understand that hold on a second here let me get this a little better all right there we go so the secret war of destruction against black America will thus be a scientific war that will utilize America's advanced knowledge of chemistry and the war aims to sterilize the black woman and the black man and kill the black male uh, masculinity scientifically it appears from the words of the messenger of God Honorable Elijah Muhammad our food water and drugs will be chemically manipulated in such a way as to render the black nation infertile or non reproductive in 2013, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan delivered his historic series of revelatory broadcasts entitled Time and What Must Be Done. 
in part number 36 farming and the, is the engine of our na national life he documents that the secret war of which the honorable, most honorable Elijah Muhammad had warned us in 1975 has now come, become official US government policy and and I'm going to put the link to this particular broadcast we should listen to it right here the minister said that uh, they this is he, he talked about Henry Kissinger you know Brzezinski and how they plan to cull like two billion people from the planet uh, it was global 2000 detailed using food as a weapon to de top, depopulate the third world and said that that could work right here in America as well so so they want to depopulate the third world which is mostly black people they call us the third world they just create these terms for us and we're supposed to just agree to it and so um, this report documents how the US government and allied interests actually executed this plot that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad warned us of in 1975 and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan shined great light on specifically it can be demonstrated that the food made available in black neighborhoods fast food supermarket food even fished food has been deliberately chemically poisoned poisoned by whom by the US government agencies examples include Department of Agriculture the US Army and the CIA allied interests such as Monsanto Chemical Company just to have a just to name a single example Black America is indeed being deliberately sterilized through our food, our water, our drugs, and even the air. The result today is the many aspects of black America's current health crisis, cancer crisis, autism spectrum disorder epidemic, ADHD and obesity epidemic, a disproportionately high uh, rate of infertility, as well as male feminization and female masculinization and black America gender bending crisis among other conditions this can all in large measure be traced back to the food made available to black communities and which we avail ourselves to put it bluntly our food has been weaponized against us uh, this report extensively documents this fact food as chemical warfare in 1977 the New York Times and so basically the brother just made a, a specific charge he said that he can document that these foods has been intentionally see he says fast food specifically it can be demonstrated that the food is made that the food made available in black neighborhoods he didn't say white Asians and all this other people's neighborhoods he said black neighborhoods fast food supermarkets is deliberately poisoned they want you dead just to make that more clear to some people they want us dead now does that surprise you you know it's poison you know McDonald's is poison Burger King and all that's poison but you know what do you do about that you can stop eating that or you can try something else so that's number one uh, there's specific poisons and for the higher level people who may not eat these things you know what we have to do is we have to educate people and then we have to try to work and put our energy into separating ourselves creating our own fast food chains creating our own stuff when you start something yourself you're not going to start from the higher level that you know that you may want to start at but that's how you have to start it. You have to grow small and become large. And But we need protection. We need security agencies and security uh, services in our communities. So we need to pretty much coalesce. And we need to live in groups. But uh, I think that's all I'm going to read from this today. And we'll go to another part of tomorrow. We're going to break this up. This is part one. And um, what I wanted to do. Uh, let's see if I got something here. So let's see here. 
Yeah. And this is Kissinger. Henry Kissinger put this together. This is Memorandum 2000. That's Brzezinski there. I mean, that's uh, Henry Kissinger, old dusty satanic monster. And there's a few others. But, and this has been warned, you know, I mean, this is back when the messenger was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in, in the Nation of Islam. You know, we need to get black publications that are independent. And this media that we're coming out with, we got to get this information. The information, if you don't get the information, you're not going to even, you're not going to even have a desire to protect yourself. So that's, that's uh, pretty much uh, what we must do. And like I said, this is going to be a series. We're going to try to work, um, you know, put more of this in. And um, until we uh, learn how to get ourselves together, we just got to keep pushing. There is no silver bullet. There's no silver bullet. It's not going to be one event that changes everything. It's a continuous push. Education, you know, also creating our own institutions, solving problems ourselves as a group, and working together. And that that goes through generations. And then at a certain point, we'll have the power to be able to make a big move. But that's pretty much it, family. And that concludes what I'm going to say today. And I want you all to think about that. Research some of these links and just dwell on it. Peace. Share this and press like if you like this information. Bye.